Stop it! Madam, what are your top five favorite Mario Party boards? Yeah. Top five Mario Party boards. All right, number one, Mario's Rainbow Castle. Number two, Horror Land. Number three. Mm. Oh my god, this is so tough! Oh no. Okay, I'll do no repeat games. That'll make this easier. Number three can be. Um, I'm gonna say Sweet Dream from Mario Party 5. Number four is. Shy Guys Perplex Express. I love that board. I just, I really do. Number five, the Pagoda Peak from Mario Party 7. Yes, those are my top, top five off the top of my head. Do you like My Little Pony? If yes, who's your favorite? Mine is Rainbow Dash. I love My Little Pony. I'm not up to date with it now. I'm, I only saw like seasons one and two, but um, I love it. Rarity, Rarity is me. I am Rarity. I love Rarity. She's my favorite. I love her. Why are you so working that cat, Cheryl? I'm so jelly. Hmm. Girl, I'm working that cat, Cheryl. Cause I'm a pimp. What is your favorite Kirby game and why? If you play them. P.S. I love your videos. Heart. P.S. I love you. My favorite Kirby game is Kirby's Epic Yarn. It's so cute. It's so epic. I love it. I played it and I wasn't really expecting much. I like started crying from the music just in the like overture park thing. That didn't make any sense. You know what I'm talking about. Like the overworld before you like go into the level. I was like, oh my god, this is so great. Um, it was just so, so cute. So many people had a beef with that game because you couldn't die. And I'm like, why do we have to be obsessed with dying? I just love this game. It's so cute. It's so adorable. Love. Um, but Kirby and the Crystal Shards, Kirby 64, is a close second. These are back there. Do you have any poop you need to scoop? I have some poop that always needs to scoop. Lisa, you're an idiot, and thank you for this wonderful poop scoop question. Poop scooper! First, I want to say I love your channel. So funny and awesome. Okay, now my question. Do you plan on Let's Play Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer when it comes out? Well, I love you. You're probably really funny and really awesome too. Thank you for thinking so positively of me because I'm such a weirdo. Um, also, Happy Home Designer's out and I would love to LP it. I've got the 3DS capture card fund going on. We've raised over $50 and by we I mean you pimps. I haven't, I haven't done anything. I've just asked for money. So <laughs> thanks for helping me to get that much closer to that reality. I would love to let's play that when I have the capture equipment. Is there any possibility that you might play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door? It's my favorite game of all time. P.S. I have been subscribed to you for four years. Smiley. Nice work the four year subscription. Um, I have never, okay, this is gonna sound really bad because I know this is your favorite game as you stated that. I've never gotten into TTYD. I just, something about the Thousand Year Door, it's too dreary for me after the first, like, ooh, Paper Mario, it's all like papery and fun. Um, it was very dreary. I mean, it's definitely a different mood. And because I was introduced to the GameCube so late, I didn't get the chance to play it on release. I really wanted to, but I didn't. And then I witnessed both or two of my sisters playing it later. And I mean, it's cute, it's fun, but I just, I know it's super long. And for me not to be into it that much, I have a hard time imagining myself let's playing a super long game like that that I'm not super crazy into. So the answer is probably not, I'm sorry. But I know my sister, Madam Toadstool, was LPing that, or she kind of stopped LPing it, but if she ever continues, maybe I'll guest on that. That might be a better option. How tall are you? I'm 5'10", and I hate it. 
Well, work that 5'10", you shouldn't hate it, because Michael Jackson was also 5'10", and he's the greatest person who ever lived. So, 5'10", work. I'm 5'7", though. I am three inches shorter than that, which would have been perfect in his concert. He wanted girls that were like 5'5", five, five to 5'7", five, and I was like, but he died. My question for you is, why aren't you doing Viva Pinata anymore? Like, why did you stop? I stopped doing Viva Pinata because I kind of sucked at Viva Pinata. I mean, it's not like, it's not a game you can be like super bad at, but I was doing it when I opened because I wasn't like, I'm not an expert on the game. I didn't know it like super duper well. And it was fun, but I kind of got super bored with it really fast and I feel like everybody else did too. So it was kind of rubbing off on the pimps and the viewers and everybody's like, cool at a point. So I was like, I need to just can this. This is not going so well, but I do have another Viva Pinata project in mind of one of the spin-off games that I will probably do later. What is the hardest video game you have ever played? Hardest video game I've ever played? This one right here. It's called Frantic Flea. And the reason it's the hardest is kind of BS because this game was deemed unplayable. Like two years after its release, I ended up doing research on this game because I could never get past a certain point, nor could any of my sisters. And it was because, yes, it was deemed unplayable. You absolutely could not get past the point that we couldn't get past. And so it's online as a throwaway game. I don't know why I still own this game. I think it's just because I had it with my sisters when I was younger, so I'm like, okay. Um, but yeah, definitely the toughest not knowing that. As a kid, that was very frustrating, thinking, oh my god, I'm a suck, I can't get past this, when really it wasn't me. Um, the other hardest game I've played that it wasn't like that, oh man. Probably, I mean, I think it would have to fall into the classics. Like, these aren't games that I haven't been able to get far in, but I would say, like, Battletoads is pretty tricky, especially, I mean, that, that motorcycle stage, what? I played that for so many years, and I still majorly struggle. Even when I played it for hours every day, I struggled with that. Um, and it's not the only one, it's just the one that pops into my head, but man, those classic games were way harder than games today. I will just say that right now. What was it like being homeschooled? Being homeschooled was totally normal for me, so it's kind of hard to answer this question as I have no comparison, like, oh my god, it was so weird because schools like that. I mean, I was somebody who, when I took my SATs, I went to the classroom and I was like, oh my god, it's so cute, it has like a little, like there's a little chalkboard and stuff, and the, um, the, the bells are real, and I, I mean, that was so weird to me, I was just like, I'm used to going down half naked into my kitchen, doing my, um, schoolwork, I mean, it was so chill, so different, you know, I, I really am grateful for it because I didn't have to deal with any of the weird bullying or peer pressure that people deal with in actual like public school and if I'd gone to school um, there is a private school around where I live that I would have loved to go to but I you know I just didn't do that that wasn't what I did and it opened up a lot of opportunity for me um, with dance so I was not so stricken with my schedule like get up at 6 a.m. like I didn't have to do that and I didn't have to miss any classes because I didn't get home until four, you know, whatever. Um, so being homeschooled, it was quite an experience, but it was so like, I mean, it was so chill compared to what you hear about. And just, I had all my friends through dancing. And I mean, it's not anything that I would notice as like being something huge and so totally different from any other kid. It's just, I was at home doing my work, not surrounded by a bunch of bimbos and, you know, also not being surrounded by a bunch of friends either. It's just, you know, one man show. Which is your favorite piece of music from all the games you've played? I answered this question in my last video, but I'll answer it again. 
because I could answer it a thousand times because I love this song that much. And it is Mario's Rainbow Castle from Mario Party. That song is beautiful and it's phenomenally composed. Just the way you can picture a rainbow fantasy castle in the sky that's so relaxing and like happy and joyous. I mean, it's like perfect. When I hear that song, it makes me want to cry. If I haven't played Mario Party in a long time, Whenever I go back and play it again, I'm always like, I feel so nostalgic towards that song. And it's more than that, though. It's a beautiful song. Another song that is a close second, though, is Starlift from Mario Party 3. That song I could go to sleep to every night and be the happiest person alive. I just, those are just so, so beautiful. I love those songs. Well, pimps. That is it. That was the final question from my call out video. The last question in Madame Wario's Q&A 2015. Thank you all so much for your participation and for subscribing and being part of my channel and this crazy environment that I create called the Pimp World. I love you guys. This was made in place of just a one video subscriber special. I thought I'll do a subscriber thanking series and that's what this was. So I'm really, really grateful that so many of you participated and continue to participate by commenting questions and I am more than happy to try and answer as many of those through text as I can. So feel free to do that on this video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I love all of you to death. You are the fiercest pimps in the entire world. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for everything that you do for me just because I make videos. I, I can't thank you enough for your support. So I love you pimps. I will see you in my Let's Play videos, in my next crazy video, whatever I do. I'll see you later. I love you guys. Bye pimps. Out, pimps. What? You're so rude. Miss.